One day, Krishna and Balaram took the whole family to a wedding in Bojakata, where Rukmi lived. Pradyumna's son, Aniruddha, was getting married to Rochana there. The city was decorated with lovely flags and flowers, and many kings and their families came to the wedding. At this wedding, the king of Kalinga wanted to see Rukmi play chess with Balaram. Sri Balaram said, Oh yes, I would love to play chess. And he sat down to play with Rukmi. Balaram and Rukmi put one hundred gold coins on the table. Each time they played, Rukmi won the game and took all the coins. The king of Kalinga started to say terrible things about Krishna and Balaram. He laughed very rudely, showing his teeth. <laughs> Balaram became a little angry, but he kept playing the game. This time, Balaram put 100,000 gold coins on the table and actually won the game very nicely. But Rukmi, Rukmi was such a rascal that he lied and said, No, no, how could Balaram win? I am the winner. The gold coins belong to me. Balaram was really angry now. He put down 100 million gold coins on the table and played another game of chess. Balaram won the game very nicely again, but Rukmi again tried to make trouble. He said, My dear kings, this Balaram does not know how to play chess. He is just a cowherd boy. I have won the game. All of a sudden, everyone heard a divine voice from the sky. Balaram is the real winner of this chess game. Rukmi is telling everyone lies and is not speaking properly. Rukmi didn't listen to this, and he kept saying all kinds of terrible things about Balaram. He said, my dear Balaram, you and your brother Krishna may be very good at watching cows, but how can you know how to play chess or shoot arrows on the battlefield? <laughs> All the other princes and kings there laughed very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> At this, Balaram became as angry as burning firewood. He immediately took a club in his hand and, without saying another word, smashed Rukmi on the head. From that one blow, Rukmi fell down, dead and gone. This is the way Rukmi was killed by Balaram at the wonderful wedding of Aniruddha and Rochana. Before the king of Kalinga could run away, Balaram grabbed him. He was always smiling and showing his teeth while saying terrible things about Krishna and Balaram. So Balaram broke all his teeth with his club. He also caught the other princes and friends of Kalinga and Rukmi. He beat them all with his club, breaking their hands and legs. They did not even try to fight back, but just ran away from the bloody scene as fast as they could. After the fight was over, 
Rochana and Aniruddha sat on a beautiful chariot. Then the marriage party with all of Aniruddha's big family went back to Dwarka. Krishna was always there to keep them safe and sound as they went.